first rock. Just his knockout. I think he, he was. He, he gets caught and he looks a little bit vulnerable at times here, field. But look at that. Well, Crazy. Crazy old combination. And it but looks was, like a fight, finishing combo, doesn't it? I think in the, he was quite fighting quite well off the ropes. He was tucking nice and tight, blocking and counting. I think this was round three. Few. But Rocky Fielding has returned 11 months after he got knocked out by uh, Canelo Alvarez on the zone. Canelo's first fight on the zone, the T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. We cover every single major fight live. Could he have gone on? I probably could have, but he really got knocked out. I'm pretty sure of that. Unless, unless he he did. He almost made the count. With the punch of all punches and um, he laid back there for a minute. He did like this. He put his hands on the back of his head. Well, anyway, I'm happy for Rocky Fielding. Who does he fight next? You know, I really don't know. Interested in his post-fight interview. And he's looking, you know, I wonder, like, if he's going to be campaigning at 175 pounds now. You know, and he could definitely touch cruiserweight one day. Really crude. You know, power wise, I don't know. But I'm glad he didn't go the distance with this dude. Uh, Abdullah Paza will Paza. They've been saying his name all night, and I've been still fucking. By the way, Terry Flanagan went eight rounds with. Uh, that was eight rounds, right? He was the distance with dude. And then uh, Martin Murray was also on the card. You know, this was like, a, it, you know, it, it's, it's, it's fucking damn near 6 p.m. here on a Friday. For those who've been watching the channel and, and watching me for a while, you know that it was a likelihood I was going to cover this fight, especially since Rocky Fielding's fight, his last fight was so big. So basically, you know, I was like, all right, I don't got shit to do. My girl's coming over in a couple hours. I'm frying some fish. So I said, I'm going to watch this car. Like, no bullshit. I was kind of pissed off that they didn't. I'm, I am pissed off that they didn't. Let me mute it. I was saying, I'm sorry for talking over the commentary. I'm kind of pissed off that they didn't show the Natasha Jonas fight. I heard this girl that she fought didn't want to fight. You know, I could have just watched this whole goddamn thing via my VPN over on IFL. Maybe they showed the whole card. But, you know, because I have ESPN Plus, there's just a way to go. All right, so let's listen in. See what Rocky's going to do next. You know, solid, I guess, Friday boxing. Here in the States and Ladies over in the UK. Please this subscribe. This contest comes to an end at the official time of two minutes and 58 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by referee count out, Rocky Fielding. Well, a spectacular stoppage from Rocky Fielding, and Barry, he's, he's back in business. He is back in business, and that's what it was all about tonight, getting the win. You know, he gets a knockout win, which is always great for for, for his resume, of course. And what's important here, and it's not important in his career, is Field is one of those guys who you... Let's listen to his post-fight interview. You know, I was also really tempted to get him on the phone before Canelo fought uh, Kovalev for my uh, podcast. But I pushed my podcast back again. But it's coming. You know, I just want to make sure, like, with this venture, especially, you know, as I'm getting long in the tooth, you know, I'll be 37 years old next year. I want to make sure my shit is, like, right. Damn, Rocky. Good shit, Rocky. Good shit. Also, you can't go wrong with ESPN+, Plus, especially since they're bundling it with Disney+, Plus and Hulu for $13 a month here in the States. You know, you can't beat that with a bat, right? So, I'm looking at the rankings. My website is down, by the way, Corrupt Plugin. So, I've been working on that shit the last couple of days. Looking at the rankings, I'm wondering. Now, Canelo beat him for that WBA world title. Oh, here he is. At 168 Rocky. pounds. But yet, he's not ranked at 168 pounds. Right? Where's he at? So, that makes me think that he's going to 175. Happy Let's listen. Round for you. That's eight, eight visits, visits seven, seven stoppages. stoppages. Not been not a bad, bad place, place for you. No, definitely not him. It's where my career started. As, as you just said, mentioned the fight. Um, obviously got the phone call, the prize fighter, and won all won it. Um, won the English title, Commonwealth title. Yeah. So it's it's been the when I was a kid, amateur going out driving past the Olympia. Oh, I'd love to fight there one day. You know what I mean? And I did, and I, I walked the Commonwealth the title out when I was 14 with Alex Moon. And I won the Commonwealth here. So it was yeah, so special memories for me.
Hold up, I pause, I, I pause the live broadcast. That's the Scouser Liverpool accent. Don't worry, I'm going to translate this shit for you. But yeah, he is uh, ranked by the WBC at 168. Yeah, Nearly a year out of the ring after the Canelo fight, which was a great opportunity. You, ha you had to take it. I'm fluent in Scouser. What's been going on since then and how you were feeling about this return to action tonight? Do you know what? Um, 2017, the box British the title, and then we just left all 2018 for six months. I was training with no fight with. And I just stayed positive and Jamie was like, something, something had happened to stay in the gym. And obviously five weeks notice the Tzoyga fight came. And then the baby girl was born in September, phone call, going to fight 10 of December. So it was non-stop for me, the second half of the year. So after the Christmas, I've had got two little babies and since the, Ralphie was born, and then Romy, I've been in camp just wanting to get that, that big shot. And I've like pushed everything. No nasty runs, no nappy chain. I've just forgot about it. And then I said, after the Canelo fight, I want to just settle with my kids, take them to nasty, you know, do the tees and do things. And I just took that little bit of break away, thinking, look, just switch off from boxing. I've been doing this since I was nine, just non stop. And I switched off. And then it was time then. I was watching the sh MTK shows, I was watching the boxing, I was going to a couple of the shows, I was going, no, it's, it's time now to start knuckling down, getting back in. I was popping in with Jamie now and the lads and the buzz in the gym. I was like, this is this is what I've missed. This is what. So I come back and um, pulled it away just, and, and enjoyed everything. You had to be composed in there, didn't you? He came with a bit of fire, punching reputation, lovely combination to finish it as well. How did you feel about being in there and the performance yeah, tonight? I felt, felt, felt uh, just fine. I know he's a bit, he's a bit swingy and even. Um, I knew he's just going to come out and swing because he's got a bit of power behind him and see where he can get. And the cook took a few shots that I seen coming out of shins of and that, and maybe that woke me up. You know, I haven't been in for 11 months. Probably. He did get tagged a couple times. We'll take a punch, all right, right, you're in a fight here. Yeah. And um, just all the shots that we've been working on the changing rooms and all the camp with Jamie was them shots, right to finish off on a three and two and just build up. And um, I just, I've, I've, I've threw that shot a few times in fights. Um. My bad, ESPN plus MTK. That was a mistake. My bad. When I've took a, took a tack, covered up, bam, 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 and come back with the shot. And, um, yeah, so everything I've been working on in the gym, it, it paid off there. So that's the main thing. What are you being told about the, the sort of next step, 2020? Yeah, um, just big fights, hopefully. Hopefully, I've got no injuries. Hopefully, I can get out in December. <laughs> Hopefully MTK got a show somewhere and um, can get me out. Or um, just just get, get get back in the mix. I think now with that performance and you know a live opponent, I think my name's back in the mix now and um, you know any of the big top five, any of the top ones uh, are phone me. <laughs> top man, another one for the show real well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. So well done to Rocky Fielding, terrific. Uh, that'll be a happy gym. I think it's fair to say, of course, Martin Murray winning tonight as well. Both, uh, of course, one former world champion, one former world title challenger, and Terry Flanagan. Hey, you know, crossroads type fight. Um, Martin Murray said he had a fight that was offered to him against somebody that's supposed to be good and, like, you know, real power. I wonder if it was somebody like Joshua Buati. Or, um, or, um, um, what's the dude name? Anthony Sims. Somebody like that over with Matchroom. So, um, yeah, what's next for Rocky Fielding? What did he weigh in at, though? By the way, Barry Jones is getting, well, to me, you know, I like him more and more in commentary over the years. First started listening to him on uh, Box Nation, right? Well, me, I was streaming Box Nation back in the day. So, yeah, okay, so he weighed in at 176 for this fight. You saw it in the ring, too, Rocky Field. So I'm wondering, where is he going to compete at, you know? Good, solid little scrap. I'm T Street Controversy. Good, solid little card. Good, solid little card. You know, you pretty much knew what you were getting. Me, honestly, to be perfectly honest with you, I wanted to see the Natasha Jonas fight, you know? So I like that shit, you know? So they kind of did me dirty with that. But it is what it is. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. It doesn't need a title for this. It's just a fantastic fight. Two great clash of styles. Farouk is a brilliant little boxer.